So this is what we're going to do, and we're going to do on the side one. Now the front one, I will have you do it by yourself, maybe um, because it's really exactly the same. And um, we're going to work a little bit on the, uh, the number 8 that imprinted on the... Um, let's take a look at the reference also. I am recording, okay, so, and, oh, not that one, two. okay, this is week three, and hydrant, okay, let's take a look at the reference. This one has closed up. Hold on. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. So now, even though the reference, the number eight is kind of a little rotated, and um, once again, when we build, we're gonna build this, the top the single edge, uh, the single corner will be straight from the top and this will be flat to the ground. We don't have to do exactly like that because this part basically they can, uns uh, uh, this is can be unscrewed and then uh, open up and see the inside and they hook up the some kind of hose, water hose. Now, we don't need to build this uh, engraving because it's unnecessary. Um, most likely, you can do a texture mapping using a uh, either normal map or and displacement map instead. But we will build this detail, and that detail will be later. So today we're going to finish this side. On the side, we're going to do it only one side, and then we'll uh, mirror it on the, the other side. Now, on the front one, I will make you do it by yourself, but the detail of this section with for next section, we'll do it together in here too. And then, after that, we will do this section. So most probably, uh, I mean, not probably, uh, this week, we will finish that detail on the top part of the body, and then I'm gonna show you how to do a uh, a, a bolt, and um, I forgot it's called something right there that has a thread, and um, this section on the bolt set I might do a video record and give it to you on Friday, um, by Fridays, and um, let you follow. Um, the instruction if I if we don't have if we could not finish all the lecture this week So you might have to do this by your own, but watching my video. Okay, so let's get started now This is exactly same concept as what you uh, what you did um, let's open up your I Hope you finish And oh, I got to set up the project I have my project uh, create for section uh, for week three already. And um, hey guys, if you like to organize like what I uh, I like to do, you could do something like this. Um, if you have week two or you have a let's say fire hydrant week two, something like that, you can right click, copy, and then paste it to duplicate you will get the word copy and then you just rename it to week three or week four or something like that. So I'm gonna delete that because I already have my, so, and modeling for entertain, week three, there we go. And this is what we, what you all should have from last week. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, hey. I forgot to copy it. Hold, hold on, guys. I will run downstairs quick and copy it from... I'll be back. I'm going to pause the video. I apologize. Okay. I'm going to open up my last model. Here we go. So this is what I have. Now I'm going to save scene as to be version 5 now. And then it will be 5A. So we're going to build only on the left. So better to add, delete half of it so that we don't have to build twice. So um, before we build half of it, for today, my staff is really long now. Time to delete history. Edit, delete by type, history. Here we go. So now nice and clean. And today, I'm going to introduce you a shortcut for polygon modeling. We have been using MASH tool, edit MASH menu, of MASH menu, edit MASH, MASH tool. Now MASH display, we did some on harden and soften edge. So now, all of these we can access using a shortcut. So to do a shortcut on 3D model, with polygon, if you hold shift key, right mouse, click and hold, you will get a marking menu. Right now, what what the uh, default marking menu on this is, um, it gives you a shortcut to access something to do with over the object, uh, the object mode and component mode. They are correspond some of these to, like for example, if you are not right click and choose component, if you're on object mode, you hold shift, right mouse click, you can access a pen to polygon tool. A pen to polygon tool is under a uh, mass to <coughs> a pen. So now, if you need to a pen, you right shift, right mouse click on the object mode. Now, if, if you switch to, let's say, face, if you hold shift, right mouse click, can you see? The uh, marking menu uh, correspond to the face editing. And you will not have access to a pen to polygon too. A pen to polygon has to be on object mode. Okay, so another thing is, I'm gonna right click and choose object mode we can fill hole temporarily. If you remember, um, when we do mirroring technique, it's preferred to have a single open edge in order to mirror and merge at the same time. If you don't care about the merge function while you do mirroring, it's okay to have multiple open border like this. So for today though, we wanted to limit some options so that we can do something more, uh, so that we can use the uh, bully, uh, mirror operation with a merge polygon or close the border. So to do that, we need to fill the hole. To fill hole, shortcut is under uh, um, mesh menu, fill hole. Now, you can hold shift, right mouse click, and choose fill hole right here. And it will fill the hole temporarily. Now, we need to cut this half. However, this surface is in gone more than, more than uh, full size. We need to cut it. So hold shift, right mouse click, and you can use multi-cut tool. Once again, multi-cut tool, the shortcut is under mesh tools, the main command. Multi-cut, and these are preview when you move your cursor, it's preview where it can be cut. So I want to make sure, so I'm gonna click and hold my left mouse, drag 
on the existing edge until you stop to the corner because I want to be sure it's really cut on the existing vertices and or vertex, sorry, vertex. Now, the bottom, do the same technique until you stop, click and drag, and then you press enter to execute. Now, on the top, do the same thing. Click and drag, execute. And then on the bottom also, here we go. If you don't do this, let's switch to face mode. Switch to selection two or Q, shortcut. If you don't split in half, when you reach and drag like mine, can you see it will select the whole disk? So this is what we want to select. If I switch to full for shortcut for a wireframe, I can see I can delete that half section. So hit delete. With face, you can use delete key because it will delete vertex and edge at the same time. With edge, you can't hit delete. You have to use command delete and edge, or delete slash vertex. Under edit mask, shortcut is control delete. So now, the reason that we do this again, because if you don't have to do this section, OK, just to show. If I do mirror, here we go, and I can leave merge border vertices because it has only one border, Maya will know how to merge it. Like for example, this is a mirror on X because this is on the positive, we want to mirror to the negative. Merge border vertices, merge. And can you see? Now, if I shift right mouse click, go to polygon display and turn on border edges, toggle, there's no border. So right now, the border is on. If I delete the face, and let me go back, turn on border edges, OK? Here we go. So now you can see the thick line. That showed the border. OK. So now, let's come back to this section. So when you have a flat face on there, it's easy to scale them in one direction, uh, uh, scale them at once, like that, you see. So let's prep, switch to four, here we go. So now we already have stop continuity there. We need to scale that down to match. So I would pick vertices, select all the vertices, these two rows, so that I can scale them uniformly, like that. Here we go. And I'm going to move it backward, close to, be careful right here. Can you see if I zoom in? Not to overlap. Here we go. Just close enough. Look like this. Here we go. And we can cut in the middle a little more late, uh, soon. So now look like this. There we go. See like that. And I'm going to move this section closer. Here we go. So look like this. And we can do a little better right here. If you want, uh, we want it to have a little curve like this. Can you see? Like that. So to do that, we can try bevel. Just double click on this edge loop. Shift right mouse click, bevel edge. And here we go. So now it's a little softer. You can make the fraction, which is the space of the bevel, a little high, larger. Can you see? So now, now, don't worry about this section because we can scale them down later. So now, can you see it looks like curved now? And I think this section, I'm going to 
move. Here we go. So that will be another label there. That one will be cut in. So now, after you move, just make the diameters about, I'm going to scale it down. It's about that image. Here we go. Like that. And I think we can do a little better on this section because can you see the gap is too wide compared to this here? So what you can do is uh, I could do slide edge too. And how many edge should we select? You kind of, I, I'm going to make decision like this because if I slide these four edges, it will change this line. So shift right mouse click and choose slide edge two right here. When you are on edge, when you hold shift right mouse click, it will uh, pops up the um, the uh, the marking tool that correspond to the edge editing. Now middle mouse drag. I kind of try to average the space. Can you see? Try to give a little kind of a nice uniform space as much as possible. Now I'm going to select only two and then shift a little bit. So it's kind of wrapping like that. OK, now let's press 3 to see how it looks. I think that looks good. Press one back. Okay. So now, if you look at on the reference, let me see. It has a big gap. Not really big. Can you see? This side has been probably unschooled. unschooled. See, compared to here, compared to this side. So that's going to be the size that we have. I mean, if this is not for video game, is it for animation or, or live action, I will separate that part so that I get even better detail and easy to manage the wireframe. But for this semester, we're going to make them become one. So right now, I am working. Can you see that span? Let me select this span. It's that section. Because later on, we can extrude and push in. So now we're going to work from here to there. So select that. And we're going to extrude. You can shift right mouse click and choose extrude phase. And then you can grab the Z direction. So now I'm going to move it right here. It's going to bevel a little bit so scale it down you can switch to scale 2 now and grab the center scale it down a little bit so that it's follow that angle and extrude again now we already did the extrude so extrude command is already um it's already inside the system you can press g g's repeat that command and then now i can move so right there, and this will be this section right here. See that? So scale it down, switch to scale two, and scale it down. Make sure you scale uniform so that the reason is you want to maintain the circular shape. If you don't scale uniformly, it will, it will become uh, ellipsed instead. So now we get that section right here. So now we're going to extrude it to extend to right around here. See, right around there. OK. So press G again to repeat the extrude command. Move it. And I think we're going to have to scale it again. Slightly angle. Extrude again, press D. If 
the G command doesn't work, you're going to have to do extrude command. So now, right there, scale it, switch to scale, scale it down. And this time is different. This, uh, that part, because, oh, what am I doing? Right there. Right here, can you see? This slend cylindrical shape are smaller, are really smaller right here. It started from here. So now to do this, it's really easy. You extrude again and offset it. You can offset or scale directly without moving yet. So I can switch to scale to R. And if I scale uniformly, can you see? You give that flat space, the flat surface. So I'm going to have to look at right here. Might be hard to see it. And I might have to look at right here instead on the side view. So I think that that's about the size. OK. If it's too small, we can, we can uh, modify it. Extrude again, press G. Oh, that's perfect size, actually. Here we go. Now, on the tip, it's flat out. So after you extrude, you're going to have to extrude one more time. Press G, but this time, you're going to scale it right away. Can you see it look like this? And while you scale, you might have to look at on the site view. Here we go. So it's kind of play out. Now, extrude, press G again, and then you can move. There we go. I'm going to scale it down uniformly. So that is a little taper. OK. And for now, let's create a discontinuity of fencing. Extrude one more time. And you can use offset or scale. Just scale it down like this to give a little space. So now, save. We're going to add that in gone shape. Polygon, slender. It look like this. And I'm going to rotate 90 degree on Z axis. Let's move in place. And I'm going to move out a little bit. So this time, we're going to work on site view here, uh, on front uh, site view, yes. And poly slender, slender, I will change asset to five. And perfect line up like what I wanted. And uh, once again, we don't have to build exactly orientation as the photo reference. Let me see what you Okay. So some side uh, upside down is okay. And then we're going to have a number eight. Let me go to the font one. Because the, the image. Font, here we go. So. Now, the number eight, when we look at it, it just look like a two circle attached, or you can call terrace, like a donut shape, two of them. So right now, we did that. So let's open. I think we're going to have to scale this down so that this 
similar size to the reference, I can do a little bigger. Here we go. I just scale uniform. And look at on side view, just move. It might offset from the uh, reference a little bit. It's OK. Um, I move so that they line up kind of in the center of that circle. There we go. And can we see? So now, this section, let's, we can move this out a little bit. So now I'm going to delete this face inside so that I won't forget. Same as this section. Here we go. I'm going to open. And at the moment, you don't have to line up. Now, this section, though, if you select all edges, we can delete temporarily. Now, shift right mouse click, choose delete edge and vertex. Right here, delete edge. Now, on the marking menu, just name only delete edge. It's actually shortcut for edge and vertex. Here we go. So, delete it temporarily because we're going to have to cut that face, right? So now, save your file. We're going to put a, we're going to build the edge shape. The edge shape, I would start it with two torus because it's exactly like that. Can you see? So click on the torus right here. If you don't see it on here, just click on Polygon Model tab. It's actually under create, oh, create polygon primitive and torus. So now let's make it lower number. So the number of the subdivision, I would try maybe eight or maybe six. So let's try subdivision exit is on the, uh, can you see on, hold it up, it's on the uh, donut shape. So let's do six. No, six is, if you look at on the top view, I think six is good, hold on. And um, let's switch to, a, um, might be a good idea, you control one, shortcut for show isolate selection view selected only you see oh actually sick is perfect can you see because we got flat line there that we can do that to connect right here on the center of the air so now the subdivision height though the subdivision height need to be low so i would go with as low as i could Six is the best. Oh, wait. Let's see. I think, s let me try. I want, I'm, I am looking at on the top part. I want the top part to be flat. Let me try six. Six is good. Can you see there's a flat surface there? If I press F, is full frame selection. Do you guys remember this trick? Let me move it again. If you select component or only object, and then when you pass, press F on your keyboard, it's frame selection. When you do that, you can dolly out a little bit. Maya will switch the pivot point of the perspective camera to the selection. So now you can rotate at that selection, can you see? So six is the best. Here we go. So now we're going to scale this down later, but let's make letter uh, alphabet, um, no, uh, number eight. So I'm going to duplicate this. Control D, turn on move to, and then we kind of, we want it to connect like this, see? but. It's going to be too difficult. Not too difficult, it's too much work if you overlap them and try to boolean it. 
the easy way is give a little space and then after we combine them we're going to move that section so that it's give a little squished look on the center so right now two object and we need only the top side so delete the face i'm going to use selection tool because I don't want to extrude by accident. Can you see? I just shift, double click, shift, double click, hit delete. So, like that. Now, if you're lazy, you can delete that one, duplicate the one that you already deleted, and then just move. So, we're going to connect it. I'm going to use top view. And once again, guys, on my top view, I am on view selected. If you don't, if you see all of this, you can just reselect only these two torus shape view isolate selection or isolate select view selected only control one shortcut so now we're going to have to combine this so you go to shift right mouse click choose combine right here combine Okay, so now this object uh, become one, but two element. How can we tell? Visually, so easy. And if you double click, it will select only one element. So we're going to have to connect this line. So we need this face to be gone. It's like that. Okay. And we're going to connect. Basically, we're going to merge vertices here, there, and there. And if you remember, we did one thing. If you go to the uh, modeling toolkit last week, right here. Now, we are not going to talk about this, all of it yet. So multi-component select, if you turn it on, you'll be able to select vertex, edge, and face, which I don't like. I like to be just only if I on um, on a edge, I want to be edge, uh, select edge only. And now you can use a different type of pick or selection. You can also create a symmetrical, right? Symmetry, soft selection also add in here. And actually, this menu you can actually customize it too, right here. See custom shape, shape, uh, shelf. Now. What we want to use is we want to use target wheel. So when you turn on target wheel, you can click on it and then drag, click and hold, drag to the other edge. It will wield it. So on the side, you might have to do it this way. And just wheel it. Wielding it. So now they have become one. So go to top view. This moment, just move vertices, squish it in, right there. And I want the center to be similar space. Can you see right here? And um, if you want to be exactly same, oops. Control shift together and region drag to add selection without toggle off. Here we go. I switch to full. I can grab this section. Move it down. Straight line. Now we need to widen it a little bit. Scale and widen it. Here we go. It looks like this. It. And I think this might be too close right there. Because can you see uh, this width? It's not exactly similar to the other. Here we go. Space it out a little bit. Now, if you want to be exactly same, you could delete one side and do mirror technique. So, I don't think you need it. This is good. If I press three, this is how it looks. 
plus one bar. So now we need to fill this section right here, the inside. So shift right mouse click, you can use append to polygon to. And now when you append, I can append quad like that. Press Y to repeat. There we go. Look like that. Can you see if I turn off grid? And we can stop continuity here to get sharper if I press 3. Right now it looks soft, right? So if I shift select, I can do two pair at a time because they are same, kind of, they look the same, really uniform. Shift right mouse click, extrude, but offset. Point one, can you see right there? Point one. Let's do point one five. Here we go. And I'm gonna deselect, go to object mode, press three. Can you see it started to be a little sharper right there? Okay. I mean, if you want to, if we want to make it even sharper, you can do multi loop, uh, multi cut, or you can use insert edge loop. If you remember, um, this time I'm gonna let's do multi cut. So that is kind of a force you to get. Here we go. And press three. So now, if you switch to Q selection two, it should be really sharp. Here we go. So press one back. Okay. Save your file. Now I'm going to bring everything back by deselect. Okay. Oops. And now we're going to move this in location. Rotate. I am on top view. So if I rotate like this, let me switch to channel box. I want minus 90. So that's straight line and go to side view, it's still too low right there. Move it up, there we go. Press F to frame selection, and you can center the pivot so that it's a little easier to scale. Center pivot, here we go. Now I'm gonna rotate another 90 degree straight on y axis turn on scale 2 and scale uniformly oh i was not on 90 here we go and you're going to put it right there okay so now we want it to be exactly center on right on there right uh, on here in, in this point on the side view, you can do like this. Select that edge. Shift select the end gone. Let me press F. Okay. And we're going to just use side view. You go to modify align to. Now, what you need is just center only right here. Here we go. So it used the pivot point of, of the center pivot point of the air to the center of the cylinder. I think the cylinder itself is a little shift. I'm going to just move this down manually. Just down. Left and right will be equal. Like left and right space will be equal. So now we're going to have to move this. Look at on the side view. Just move it so that they kind of line up in straight line like this. There we go. Let's see. Eyeballing it. And um, if you remember, we do boolean on this shape. This section, if you don't delete on the back side, you can do boolean also. However, it's a flat face. Easier to just do a tash like this. So now, when you're ready, you just delete this face. Oh, before you delete, let's 
create a stop continuity. So you go to extrude. We fencing create a fence a little bit, and then offset. Let's do one. One is too far. Point one. Sorry. Here we go. Just give that a little space on there, because later on we want this to be a sharp corner on there, right? And then we want this to be another stop continuity, but we need to do it later. So right now we are ready. Delete the face right here. Just delete it. Save your file, and you're going to combine them. So shift right mouse click, combine. Once again, the combine is under mesh menu. The main command is right here, combine. So now you combine it. We're going to use a pen to polygon tool to work on this. This step is a little long now. Let's clear it out. You can do Alt Delete. It's delete history. Oh, Control Delete, sorry. Control Delete is delete history. Make sure you're on object mode. Okay. I, I think I. It's Alt Shift D, not, not. I got confused. That is delete edge. Alt Shift D, delete history. Sorry. Shortcut. Once again, under edit, delete by tie history, Alt Shift D. Control D is delete edge. I forgot. And now, you are on object mode. These are a single object but has two elements. Can you see? Two elements. So, go to object mode, shift right mouse click, and choose a pen to polygon. So, I'm going to look at on side view. Now, what you need to do is um, you try to get a quad as much as possible. And the rest of them going to have to be triangle. So I could see that the bottom is possible to have court there. So I'm going to click. You can click on the edge of the edge or the end gone shape. It doesn't matter. And then now these are opposite, ed uh, opposite edges. The direction is go to left. And then this one go to right. So it means left and then control right, and then loop to the left. So I'm going to click like that. I got full corner there. Press Y to repeat the two. Now, I think pretty much it that I could get full corner on there. So this one has to be three corner. I can try full corner up there, but probably won't work. Let's try three. And you want it to do uniform left and right, like symmetry, symmetry. Now on the top there, I press Y again, see what I can go. This one can go. That doesn't look good. Can you see? That's the problem. It's overlap. So I'm going to backspace. So I have no choice. Got to be three corner here. Okay. Same there. Three corner, and this section. Can I do full corner like this? Yes. So I click that edge and the opposite. That's full. And then how about that? Full. And this is not diamond shape. It's just a little bit skewer on the uh, rectangle. So press Y to repeat the command. Now, what about this? If I do like that, it's almost diamond shape, which is not good. Backspace. I would go just, oh, hold on. I would go like this. Yeah. And um, when you do on your own, it's not like there's no 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 rule exactly what to do on here it just you have to kind of try to find the pattern 
if the pattern of the edge look uniform and look organized, it's mean good. So how about this? I think that's all I could do. Three corner, three corner, and then the last one. Here we go. So now I got that. Save. So it's uniform. And I could see that if I press 3 right here, I'm going to have to cut, multi-cut. If you use multi-cut tool, you can hold control key. And when you hold control key, it will try to insert loop. Now, with multi-cut, though, you can do control key and then try to insert any continuity edge. Can you see this is stop right here because that is four, or that's these three, so it's stop because it's going to produce four. Now, if you use insert edge, look, you cannot do like this technique at all. So it depends on the situation. So like if you wanted to do not the whole loop, you use multi-cut tool with control key. And if you want to make sure that the whole loop will be there, you need to use insert edge loop. Shift right mouse click. I got to go to object mode. Shift right mouse click. Insert edge loop. This will force you. You don't have to hold anything. It just forces you to get a loop. So I'm going to loop on the base. Oop. So when I press 3, it's a little sharper on the bottom. If I turn wireframe on shade off. Can you see it right there? I just need that. Okay. So now, to work on the end gone shape itself, if you remember, we did with the top, the, the, the cap, that part, we just need extra edge loop to stop continuity. We don't, we don't do it right away, we do it after. So now, you don't have to build this again for the font. So why don't we duplicate this guy and then just move it. You're going to rotate 90 degree right here. So that will be minus 90. Here we go. And you can scale up and down later. So, so now you have that backup to use for the font one. And we're going to come back. So that leave that here. Delete history, Alt Shift D. Save your scene. I'm going to save scene as and put another version on it so that I can, something wrong, I can go back. So now we have got that one for the font. OK. So we're going to start it to combine this. So move. And it's a little longer, it's OK. There you go. All right. So might be this section might be a little too close. Let's enlarge it a little bit. Just scale it. And this time, I want it to give a little space See, if I double click on the edge, look, oops, sorry. Here we go. Can you see? You can extrude the edge. If the edge are look, you can extrude the edge. I just want to have a little stop continuity, just in case. Here we go. <clears throat> just in case. So if I do multi-cut like this, if I press 3, can you see that one is sharp? So I'm not going to cut yet. I just want to show it to you. So now we're going to have to combine these objects. Select board and shift right mouse click, combine. Oop, what does it say? Cylinder has only one piece. What are you talking about? Combine. Here we go. Uh, something happening. So now I'm going to have to delete history. Alt Shift D. 
So, once again, think about quad first and then triangle after. So, shift right mouse click, choose a pin to polygon too. If you do shift right mouse click to access, try to access a pin to polygon too. Just remember you have to be on object mode. There we go. So now I can see on the side, if I click one here, I can go to that full corner. That's good. Press Y to repeat the two. Go to the other side so that you kind of work pair by pair. There we go. Now, look at on this bottom. This has to be three. Close. That one has to be three. Here we go. This one has to be three also, but how it's going to be? If I do like this, boom. It's okay, not that good. No. So this one, oops, let's backspace. That would be better like this. Three and three. Now, I, I have done a lot of these kind of techniques before. If you are new, basically you just have to experiment. Look at on the pattern. That's it. There's not much secret on this at all. Just like check your pattern. If the pattern looks good, it's good. So it's mean the floor is better. This one I can get full corner here. And full there. Now, this is kind of half diamond shape, cannot be four. You have to, uh, you have to make it three corner. Any diamond shape, even though it's a four corner, you got to split to three. Because diamond shape, it doesn't give flexibility when you do deformation. Even though we don't deform this, we still want to go uh, uh, with three instead. Now, I can see something. I could do like this too, if you remember the two, under uh, um, the spinning edge. Spinning edge, it doesn't really have it right here. You need to really go to the main command, edit mesh, spinning edge, backward and forward. Let me tear this off. So if I spin it, can you see? Here we go. So this is three, this is four. Doesn't look good. Let's check. No. So um, I just want to show you that you can play around like if you feel like can it be better if we switch? What about this? That's four, so no, that's it. I thought that if I spin like that, would look better. It doesn't look better at all. So, there we go. That's good enough. Okay. Let's see what time. That's good. So, now, delete history, oh, shift D again. We're almost done on this section. So now we are going to mirror to the other side. Let's change the length. Just grab all the vertices together, shrink it. There we go. And it actually has a little bevel there. I forgot. D does it? Hold on, let's check. No, it's not really bevel. Those are reference. It looks slightly different. So this is good. And um. Let's, oh, we almost forget. One more section here. Right here, we prepared this line, did we? Let me zoom in. Yep, that line. Okay, now this line we need to extrude in. Let me show you the image. Right here, see that? We need to create a splitting. Let's see which one. So that line, okay. So now this line, can you see a little crooked there? We need to fix it. So double click on this edge. Look, 
if it turn on scale 2 and then just scale only x axis now the line becomes straight let's check this one too here we go so this is good select i just using selection to shift select double click here we go so all the way extrude shift right mouse click extrude fast and push in just push it in here we go now when you push it in there's a little problem here it's follow the uh, angle of can you see angle of the normal so I'm gonna undo now if we switch these two switch from a uh, um, normal space to world space on the uh, extrude manipulator will look like this and we can't just move now if we move we just move follow the world space so in this case you gonna have to scale so I'm gonna active the cube just click one cube and we're gonna scale only the X plane right here grab the X plane when you grab the X plane can you see is highlight Z and Y and then you can scale only to axis here we go and it looked like this and when I see here is actually they are straight can you see like that straight so that's easy just select the loop one of the loop just like that and go to site view oh site view might be hard to see just focus on this line because that's the line can you see that line when I hover it is highlight we want them to be uh, straight so I scale it can you see I just make that line straight scale uniformly just scale on the center so now they are straight line and we're done now if you feel like it's too much gap can you see if it's too much gap what you can do is um you could just select all the vertices on this like all see four row one two three and four and then scale you can scale uniformly here we go okay oh wait wait sorry scale on x oh, my bad here we go just to narrow it narrow the space and here we go now before we mirror it might be a good idea to stop continuity right away so one, uh, shift right mouse click insert is look to so let's look I think we need to look the inside right there hey guys might be a good idea to press 2 so that we can see both proxy and preview 3d or preview uh, 3 so now the reason is so that when we cut if I switch to 4 I can't see here we go you can see the line that you will need to cut a little better right here too the inside I mean if you confuse uh, if I switch to 1 can you see that's how I cut I wanted to stop continuity when I press 3 it will look sharp press. I'm gonna press 2 okay because we can see the proxy you can stop right there here we go and stop right here and if I want to be sharper I can do like this now when we do stop continuity um, it depends on like in this situation um, sometime though you wanted to do stop continu continuity later after you create this detail however it's, it's okay for this time 
I'm going to press 2 again and shift right mouse click and insert edge loop. Yeah. That one need to be sharp. Here we go. Show angle. If you get conceal, uh, conceal, go to one, cut, press three, here we go. And I'm going to press Q to see. So now I think I need to move the line even closer. So I'm going to use slide edge. Don't just move to because you can deform the shape, but if you slide edge, You kind of just changing the location that along face normal. I want this section to be really sharp because it's bevel. Okay. okay. Press three again. I think that's good. Now I'm gonna have to stop continuity right here. Insert edge loop. I'm going to press 2 so that I can see it. And then let's loop that. Loop cl closer. There you go. Now, this section, I might have to switch to 1 because it's hard to see. Just looping it. There we go. And then I can do loop right there. Loop right here. Let me check the reference again. It's just a flat line, so that's good. So now press 3, go to selection 2. I'm going to deselect it. Okay. So now we're going to have to work on five corner. Go back. OK, guys, I'm going to have to go soon. So now to cut this, this is, we already have stop continuity there. So use multi-cut. You want to have this one can be three corner. Can you see? So that it won't go too far. And then three corner there. And then I'm going to loop it back. This is why we create a border to protect all the fence. Here we go. And if I press 3, here we go. It's coming back now. Press 1 back. So, here we go. Oops. Hey guys, if you need to relocation, you can middle mouse drag while you're still under crypt. So insert, uh, under multi cut. And if you wanted to go back, you hold backspace. There we go. Almost done. Last one for me. And I'm going to do mirror after this. And um, if you a little behind, just watch. Here we go. So now, if I press 3, here we go. I get that quarterback. Uh, here we go. See? Okay, so now I'm going to mirror it because I'm done. Left and right. And um, now, uh, next section, we will come back. Um, 
we will add the details so we'll delete half again and then add this section so how about uh, let me see what time is it I gotta go guys so how about this um that's it don't mirror it yet let's mirror together next time because I wanted to add this detail now for the well hold on we can do that I'm gonna just mirror it okay so that you can start it to work on the uh, font part uh, while we waiting for next section and um, you know what how are you guys doing are you guys able to get to this point or no yes yes okay good in that case well let's you don't need to work on the font yet just wait until next section because it's better to add the detail on the side and then mirror it and then the detail on the font you can do it on your own because it's the same same technique so that's it for today and um next section um make sure you finish this side okay and um if you can't wait you can go ahead do mirroring this is you already know what to do on that